Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Matt here, back for some more XCOM Enemy Unknown on Classic Iron Man difficulty. So have a look at the upcoming events over the next few days, we've got some ships being transferred to the remotest corners of the world, we've got three days until we've researched Heavy Plasma, three days to the result of our first batch of Psy testing, and off camera I also took the liberty of hiring some new soldiers, seeing as we are running a bit low. And 15 days to the council report. So, to kill some time, let's look for some trouble. Aircraft transfer oh. complete. Transfers have been completed, and our heavy research is complete. Heavy plasma research, rather. As always, feel free to pause and read at your leisure. In addition to manufacturing our own heavy plasmas, our soldiers should now be able to use any they recover, etc, etc. And of course, to build a plasma shiv. Not that I ever really build shivs at all. Very nice. Now, we work on Plasma Sniper. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Yes, thank you, Dr. Van. You don't have to keep telling me that. Okay, start researching some heavy plasma... Well, not heavy plasma. We've got heavy plasma. Plasma Sniper Rifles. So, we will finally be at the pinnacle of XCOM troop weapons. And then it's just a case of armor and the quality of the soldiers we send into battle. Meanwhile, we have a day until site testing is done. But, we had some ships. And with that done, let's go look for some more trouble. We may be onto something, Ooh. Commander. Our latest candidate is... different. We're picking up levels of psionic energy unlike any we've detected in the previous tests. Ladies and gentlemen, XCOM has its first psychic soldier. Ever since mankind first looked up at the stars, we have wondered what lies beyond. So very few have dared to look inward. The depths of the human mind hold more secrets than we can possibly imagine. How ironic that the means to defeat our enemy comes not through weapons or machines of war, but from within. And if we have succeeded, we will have gained a glimpse of what we are to become. We will have created something... extraordinary. UNLIMITED POWER! Sorry, I just had to do that. One of our... Well, only, only one. And it's none other than Captain Akin One Day, aka Collateral. Forty, David Ryan and Jer Jeremy, Jeremy Andrews is completely worthless, he doesn't even have psychic powers. Not only does he get his teammates killed, but he's generally useless in that as well. Hey, we have a psychic! So let's have a look at her. She's a psychic heavy, so she gets a little psychic icon, but she remains a heavy. So Psy abilities. Immediately train in Mind Fray. Which causes the target to lose grip on reality, inflicting penalties to aim, will, and mobility in doing five base damage. We're going to have to bring her along at some point. First. Well, okay, we don't have psychic armor yet. So let's have, head over to the old engineering. Do we not have an ethical obligation to prepare these soldiers for the changes, permanent changes, that they will experience? Well, yes, you could argue that. That's a good point. Actually, that's kind of telling about the new expansion, XCOM Enemy Within, coming in November, which allows you to actually genetically modify your soldiers, and you'll even be able to cyborg them up and Market put them in power armor. Books. This is the end of an era for mankind. Even after we've defeated the remaining aliens, what then? Have we sacrificed our own humanity for a taste of their technology? And if we manage to exploit this power further, do we risk being consumed by it? Presumably, just as they were? Those are very deep ethical questions you're asking, Dr. Shen. Very much, ah, sod it, let's go look for some trouble. And test our new psychic powers. Excavation complete. Assuming anything actually shows- Oh! Oh! Let's scramble out one of our interceptors! Go Demon 2! Oh, 
this overlay shouldn't actually come up, but never mind. Firestorm, away! Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Go, Firestorm! We have eyes on the bandit. Come on, take it down. Defense matrix yeah. Active. Look at that. Barely a scratch, and it goes down. Did a bit of damage to us. Light damage, which is easily repaired. Now you'll notice, although it's crashed in the ocean, when we get there, it will actually be forest. There's an original UFO. If you shot a alien craft down over water, whether it be an ocean or an inland sea, you wouldn't be able to recover it. It would be gone. Of course, the opposite was the case in Terror from the Deep, where you, if you shot it down over the water, you'd be able to raid it. But if you shot it down over land, it magically disintegrated and nothing was left. But enough of me rambling. Time to assemble the team. And we're back with the team we're going to send on the mission. First up, Squad Yokomoto. Bring him along, get him some more experience. Mr. M, packing a heavy laser and scope. And our new psychic, Captain Akin One Day, aka Collateral. Now she's still in her heavy colours along with her skeleton armour, but once we get some Psy armour, which we'll be seeing later, she'll be out of that and in this armour that amplifies her psychic abilities. Marte is always providing the, the fizzy wizzy make feel good juice and some alien grenade. Bringing Sergeant Wahid along as well as a sniper. Shepherded by Nyx, just to make sure he, he does better so to speak, but enough rambling, Sky Ranger away. Now this looks like it's going to be a big UFO, so this may take a while. Strike one. Begin the Prepare assault. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay, I don't think I've actually seen this map before, but it could just be an existing one at an angle I've never seen. Anyway, let's go straight in. And we we land right next to it. Fantastic. Central, this is Big Sky. Oh wow. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Wow, this. Oh wow, it's right over the edge of a chasm. I don't haven't seen this map before. Definitely not. This looks like most of it's just going to be ship, so... First off, let's get some people... Hmm, into cover. Mr. M. You'll cover that flank. Collateral. Good, you can just make it there. Fantastic. Marte. We'll move you there. Actually, probably best we move you behind that tree. And Dabby Doozy. Loki. Sorry, not Loki. Oh, crikey. Vampire or Wahid. And Nyx. Where should we move you? We'll move you here. Finally, Squad Yokomoto, who doesn't have a nickname yet. But we'll just put you there. Right, you can hunker down. Keep the snipers hunkered down. And that's the end of turn one. Uh oh. Eyes on target. Well, first of all, we've got heavy floaters, which is never good. But I had a sector pod as well, so Missed. we're all kinds of fucked, really. Aha! Actually, let's test our new psychic powers. Psychic powers away! <laughs> you stayed home. Guaranteed five points of damage. Same as an alien grenade. Okay. First off, we need to get our snipers doing their thing. 100% chance of hit, 90% critical. Let's go for it. Booyah! Soften him up. Nick takes him down. I'm about to start keeping score. Double tap. Well, let's hit another one. 
won't kill him, but hey ho. Ah, oh, almost down. killed him though. Look at that. All but one point of damage. Okay, Wahid. Oh, you're flanking one of them as well. Excellent. Go for it, Wahid. Probably not going to kill him or really seriously damage him. Still crit though. Good on you. Look at that. Now, shall I be really ballsy with Okamoto? Hmm. Right, Mr. M. Can you see anything? Let's bring you forward. Booyah. Ah, I should have brought an arc thrower along. And Okamoto could have just stunned one of them. Oh, Mr. M, your your aim has I'll become even more time. terrible. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's, let's just... No, let's move closer. And grenade the little sods. Let's oh, bollocks. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall way back. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Dash back, Okamoto. Hmm. Yeah, so we should do, could do with some sort of more cover, actually. actually Marte, move back. I'm being a bit gun shy this this mission, but for good reason. And can I protect all of us? For the most part. Smokes in the air. Let's protect our main core of people here. Oh, of course he's chucking a grenade because he's a shit. Good thing they're still in the smoke. They won't get cover bonuses. No! Mr. M! I should have killed these bastards when I had the chance. Luckily, Marte is there. Don't you dare. Whew. It's raining death over here. Muton elite coming out of the goddamn walls. This isn't good. This isn't good. Incoming Luckily, fire. they're also terrible shots with heavy plasmas. Okay. Screw this. Screw all of you. Rockets away, mofos. Her psychic power's on a cooldown as well, so. I don't care about salvaging their weapons. Marte. First off, I need to get Wahid out of there. Okamoto's okay, though. Who can you fire at? Terrible. Terrible. Okay. Amy, what are your chances of hitting them? Also, quite atrocious. Sod it. That's a good solid hit. Nothing to write home about, but better than nothing. Wahid can sprint a fair old distance. So up you go, Wahid. And take a shot with your pistol. What do you. What? You're terrible. Okay, Komoto, can you perhaps flank this bastard? I'm not quite flanking, but. Hmm. Perhaps if you went. Nah, but that just leaves you right open to being flanked by those two sods. Ah, screw it. Although we could run and gun. But then it's, he's really not going to kill the guy with just one hit, I don't think. Well, he could crit if he flanked him. Ah, what the hell? Let's go for it. Firing position. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Just ice this bastard. Damn it. Marte, you still around? Good. Okay. Marte, get up here. Finish this bastard off. 
Yes! He's down. Kind of worried about Nick. She's out there on her own at the moment. No. No! Okamoto, no! God damn it. Murdering bastards. I'm hearing lots of explosions and things. There's an evil little drone. Ah! You little shit! Piss off! Okay. Can she fire a rocket? Yes! Let's just... Oh, she's already fired. She only had one. Bollocks. Hey, Marte. Oh, he's right out in the open there. Come on, come on, I need you to revive him. Up you get, soldier. I've got no more smoke grenades left. Right, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, it's just those two little shits. Sod it. Take it out, Wahid. He's down. And Nyx, take that one out. That's the sector pod's eyes in the sky. If you take those out, it's somewhat blinded. Okay, how far can we dash? I'm not gonna dash there, that's stupid. Everybody fall the hell back. If you can. Please don't kill Marte. Please don't kill Marte. Please don't kill Marte. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's get you peeps into cover. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just move him here. Marte can also patch him up a wee bit. Because by God, he needs it. Come on, time to cowboy up. That's better. Well, we've lost our assault trooper. Poor Squaddy Okamoto. Reload your sniper Good rifle. Reload yours. We're green to go. Reload your gun as well. It's killing time. Hunker down. Marte is going to be our scout for you this. He's going to be the sector pod chaser. Where the fuck has it gone? This is bullshit. Okay, Marte, fall back. No, I don't want this to be another game of cat and mouse with a bloody sector pod of all things. How can a hulking great war machine just disappear? Back in. Overwatch. 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 I hear something. Shh. You hear that? I think that's a muton elite, though. Okay, we need to get some perspective, so to speak. Go, Marte. Up, up and away. Did you see anything? Anything at all? Hmm. Nothing. And this thing doesn't provide cover, except on that side. To start advancing cautiously forward. Marte is going to be our scout. How far can she run? Oh shit! Well, at least we spotted him. What do you mean you can't? Wahid, you're useless! Oh, come on, Mr. M. Yes, that's more like it. Uh, terrible chance to hit though. We'll suppress you. Blasting that target. So that should reduce his aim considerably. Well, you know, Marta can shoot him in the face. Ah, oh, look at that. A nice solid crit. Hmm, perhaps Wahid may be able to. Okay, come on, Wahid. 
take a pot shot with your pistol. Well, wow, one point of damage. Well, wasn't that an anticlimax? And unfortunately, Nyx can't really. Hmm. I don't want to just leave her out there in the open. That'd be silly. Okay, where can I? Oh well, isn't this just a? Unless. Bugger! Can't even use my psychic powers. Well, isn't this just terrible? I suppose we can move her up there. She can dash, but... No, I'll leave her here. The guy's been suppressed. Collateral will go on Overwatch. Yeah, try and move your shit. Hearing lots of plasma fire. Yeah, he's not even moving. Look at that. Alright, take a shot with your rifle this time. Because your pistol was rubbish. Booyah! Nice work, Wahid. Bye bye. He's under promotion. Well done, Wahid. Meanwhile. Start moving people up. Hunker down. We'll move you there. Just M in the meantime. We'll move up here and reload his weapon. I'm ready. Go on, Overwatch, love. Peterson, I need you to. No, not until we're ready. Just go there for the moment and reload your gun. Ready to rock. We're not doing... Oh! Whoa! They mute on elite out of nowhere. They're moving to flank me. Oh, you shit. Hang in there, Marte. We've got you sorted. Flank this fucking return. Booyah. That's it. Mr. M's got him flanked as well. Negative damage. Well, he would have if he can actually hit the side of a fucking barn door. That's better. Kill confirmed. Okay, well that's Marte injured. Great. Well, he'd keep an eye out for God's sake. Same with you, Nix. But I think that's both of those muton elites dealt with. Oh shit! Oh, that's five hit points off. Oh, God. It's just come out of nowhere. Fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Go for Wahid. Go for Wahid. Sorry, Wahid. And you've missed, you shit. Okay. Oh, why? Why can't you? God damn it. Perhaps I can sort of fry its brain. No. Hey, Wahid, just try and go for it. You've got a good chance. We need to get Marte out of there ASAP. Or else she's gonna die. Okay. Go, Walker. Uh, try for headshot first. I think you will have double tap now. How could you miss? Shot wide. Okay, disabling shot. Take its weapon away. Nice. Why don't you sit this round out? And she's being fl ah, but she can see him. No chance of doing a crit, but let's check her stats quickly. Bullet swarm. That's all I needed to know. What? Shot wide. Unfortunately, she can't use mind fray on it because it doesn't have a mind. 
That's more like it. Right. Who's next to go? Marte? Marte can take a shot. Go, Marte. Oh, you've missed. But you have managed to destroy its cover. Not that it actually benefits from cover at all. In the same way as Chrysalids and Berserkers. Right, I've nearly killed this sod. You know, moments like this are, for, are what rockets are made for, pretty much. But unfortunately... That is gonna... Oh... Uh, I can either miss completely or hit it and also damage Marte and possibly Collateral as well. Great. Maybe I'll just shoot it. Can it you can't even actually fire. I don't think. Oh, you think he's got just enough... Okay, move over here, Mr. M. He's got just enough ammo. Unfortunately, he's only got a 55% chance to hit. Go, Mr. M. Yes! Woo! Negative. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a beautiful moment. Wow. Biggest threat on the ship, neutralized. Suck it, Sector Pod! Okay, Marte, we need to get you out of here, girl. You can dash back here. We can report back to the Sky Ranger that we've successfully taken out a sector pod, another one, without losing half the team. And Mr. M can reload. Let's rock. Wahid can also reload. Come on. Ready to rock. Lock and load, people. We're green to go. Ready to rock. I'll move the snipers up, and then next turn we'll just charge up and see what we've got. Nix. Get up there. Go on Overwatch. No, no, Marte! I don't want to move you! God damn it. I thought you were Wahid. She, she just doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to go back to the Sky Ranger. She wants to be in the thick of the action. Because that's Marte, folks. She's amazing. Or maybe she just has a thing for Mr. M. I hear sectoid commanders. What the hell was that? Probably at least two of them, but hopefully the last thing we have left to clear on this ship. Which shouldn't be too hard. Mr. M, up you go. All clear so far. Collateral. Bring your amazing brain and your big gun up here. All clear. I need to get our snipers into position. Right across the way there. Because the sectoid commanders are going to be on the bridge. And they're probably just going to loiter there for a good little while. Before they actually come out and see us. Whereupon we'll be waiting to riddle them with laser blasts. And copious amounts of hot boiling plasma to their faces. Now Marte, you may be injured and all, but I have a plan for you. Because you have a grenade. And basically that's still some hefty cover there. So what we're going to do... Next turn... So just reload your gun for now. Next turn, I'm going to blow those doors off with a grenade. Should give us some sort of like here. good vision to the bridge. You know, Marte will be down here, so she'll be out of sight of anything in there. Now, positioning is absolutely vital. Catch. Grenade away. Preparing to breach. Oh, well, that did fuck all, didn't it? You're only supposed to blow the bleeding doors off. Mr. M. Dash up there. I don't know why I dashed you there, that was stupid. But it's removed any cover that the sectoid commanders might use. Now the heavy's goal here won't really be to do much damage, it'll be mostly just to open the doors. For our snipers. So they have the best coverage, or at least some coverage of what's going on inside the room. 
and stay. Now, Marta, I'm quite low to actually sort of bring you up here. But Mr. M can see into the room a little bit. Overwatch, Overwatch snipers. Marte. I really don't want to bring you up here. Oh, I'll bring you there, behind some full cover. She's got Sentinel, so she'll be able to fire twice. What the hell Three, was that? two, one. Open the door! Oh. Well, wasn't that the anticlimax of the century? Could always fire a rocket into the room, though. Why not, hey? Airburst away! I mean, I didn't get to use it against the sector pod. Oh, wow, three of them. And they've all moved out of sight. I could just keep pummeling them with rockets. You hear that? Now there's an idea. Now, Nix, can you... No, I don't think you can actually see all that clearly into the room there. So let's move you to a better position. Go on Overwatch with your pistol. Overwatch! Marta can also go on Overwatch. Shoot them! Oh, oh, oh. Maybe perhaps she can use some of her psychic powers. Tell you what, Mr. M's going to fire another rocket into the room, because why not? Soften them up a bit and generally, well, use our rockets. We have a rocket budget after all, so we pretty much have to use them, really. Even though I have taken out like nearly all the cover in the room. Snipers. On Overwatch. Now. Some reason she can't see. Oh, wait. But if I move her here. Time to test our psychic powers out on a psychic alien. Mind fray! Wait, I just saw the chances there. It was zero. I've just done the psychic equivalent of reading how to play chess for dummies and then challenging Gary Kasparov. Oh well, Marte. Oh no! I'm immediately regretting my decision. This is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? I just know it is. Come on, you little shit, do something. Oh god, he's using his brain magic. Who's the victim? Incredible. No! That alien seems to have taken control of that soldier somehow. Calm down, Wahid. All of the advances we've made so far. No! They would be useless against this type of. Ugh, Wahid, you idiot! <laughs> Christ, why can't you just disable his weapon? God damn it. Finish this fucker off. Oh, come on, there collateral. Finish him. That's better. I should break the control. Right. Mr. M, we need to pull you back. Out of sight, out of mind. And in this case, you're out of your mind. Peterson. I really don't want to put you there either. I'll put you here. Alright, up you come, Nix. Enough of this horseplay. There's a little shit. Booyah! Come on, Marte, finish him off. Oh no! Well, that was a silly place to stop, wasn't it, Mr. Sectoid Commander? Where's your friend? Nah, no, not that it matters. Marte, finish him off. Out of the game. We've got one more in here. Presumably cowering downstairs, preparing some evil brain voodoo. But where downstairs? That is the question. Or maybe he maybe he had enough and just jumped. Into the chasm below. And if wishes were horses, my soldiers would be cavalry. So what? Move there. If you see him. Oh no! You little shit! Luckily, he missed. 
Mm, evil little bastard. What are our chances of hitting him? Terrible. Fall back. Come on. Back you come, love. We know where he is now. Alright, have you come down, Wahid? Good. Everyone on Overwatch. Oh. Hunker down, Mr. M. Calm down. Although, you have understandably been through a very traumatising experience. I mean, you have, after all, effectively been used as an alien creature's puppet for its own twisted amusement. Meanwhile, I do not want to risk Marte. On the other hand, we really do need to sort of get down here. Let's just go here. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? So much for using the door as cover. Go on, Overwatch. What's making that noise? The Sectoid Commander? The only living alien left on this ship? Good grief. Okay. Okay, Marte, where can we move you? Good God, nowhere. Just this little plinth in the corner. It's the only cover left in this Let's room. Let's rock! Hey, Wahid, you're kind of expendable, aren't you? Let's bring you up. Be calm, be calm, Mr. M. We'll get you some counselling when we get back to base. Assuming, of course, this sectoid commander doesn't go Rambo and murder us all. Did you hear something? I'm also sending Wahid down because he's, well, he's on tip-top form. And down you jump, Wahid. Oh, bollocks, you can't see him, can you? Well, that was a bit silly. Overwatch with your laser pistol. Oh, I hate this. I hate having to bring people up and not keep them in cover. Just chill, man. Chill. Everything's going to be okay. Just calm down. Reload. Oh, yeah. Is there anywhere I can grapple? Anywhere? No. Actually, yes. Because a grapple move doesn't trigger Overwatch. Can you see him? Yes! Where is he? There's the little shit! Although, I really don't want to be left standing here because... I don't like those odds. Marte, get out of there. Bollocks. Okay, Marte, just run for it. Right, as soon as he moves or comes into range, he's going to get shot. Hey, you hear anything? Yes, like this. Oh, Wahid, you are terrible. They got me flanked! X-rays got me outflanked! You cheeky little shit! How dare you? How very dare you? Take some heavy lasers to the face! No longer Chalk up another threat. one. Woo! That could have gone a lot worse, couldn't it, folks? But it's done. Operation Flying Vanguard, done and done. And perhaps if I keep up this level of play, I'll be able to take down a sector pod without losing any soldiers whatsoever. A man can dream. Now it's back to base with one of our soldiers in a straitjacket for some emergency therapy. I can only assume having a sectoid commander inside your brain is not a pleasant experience. Oh, we also get to check out our hall. What do we get? Well, well he's been promoted, of course. Seven kills. Good on you. Disabling shot. That's that done. Oh, Naoki. Well, Mr. M's wounded. Marte's wounded. Clatel's wounded. Three sectoid commander corps, three heavy floaters, three muton elites. I only saw like nine regular infantry on that ship. Not too bad. Only 30 Illyrium. But we got a shitload of alloys, as well as some crap we can just sell because it's all useless. Look at that. Yeah, two damage power sources. Let's go sell those right now to make myself feel better. Power source damaged. You get 30 for them. It's 
stasis tanks. Look at that. Nice 180 in total. So, yes. That mission went quite well. If I do say so myself. I'm not quite so sure about the effectiveness of our psychic soldier program just yet, but I was getting collateral to bite off more than she could feasibly chew. We've got coming up in the next few days. Two days till we get laser that's sorry, till we get plasma sniper rifles at last. Four days till another firestorm's built. Six days to the council report. Here's hoping they don't just decide they've had enough and cut our funding and shut us down. I don't think they will. I think we've had a very good month, but Whatever their decision, we'll have to wait until next time. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, keep watching the skies.